Hi, I'm Joe Hupsey, and I'm here with our partner at IBM, Brett Bailey. And today we want to show you something very interesting, especially to Enterprise Manager users today. And that's a solution that integrates Enterprise Manager with, and of course, Enterprise Simulator, with the IBM IT management tools. The solution is called the Enterprise Verification Management Solution, appropriately enough. And today, Brett's going to do a quick demo to show you what it's all about. So, Brett, take it away. Okay, I've uh, just submitted a workload for, through our Cadence Enterprise Management System. It's creating about 60 jobs to do some verification management for us. And uh, we're now looking at our Tivoli Monitor application to see what's going on within our server farm where we've just submitted those jobs. So you can see very easily that we've got CPU utilization, memory utilization, but more importantly, via these drop downs here, we can actually go down to the individual processes that might be running on those uh, servers on our server farm to help us determine where problems may occur. Even more importantly, we've got the Situation Event Console up here that keeps track of uh, some more information that's going on within our server farm. And here in a couple of seconds, you'll see it pop up uh, a little bit of a warning. This one is harmless. It's going to pop a warning here in a few minutes as well. This particular one is telling us that there are uh, jobs waiting in our server queue. Uh, now it's telling us we've crossed that threshold for the number of jobs that are waiting in our service queue. That becomes important because we can put automatic scripts behind here to move those jobs on the fly to a different server queue if we wanted to. Or maybe we just put some uh, important messaging for the operators to let them look into whether they can move that stuff to a different server farm. Now we're going to go over to our Tivoli Business Services Manager application and we're going to look at things from a chip project manager's point of view. So you can see that uh, this is a roles-based dashboard and you can see right away that this particular project manager's got three projects he's working on and one of those projects is in trouble. That's indicated by this bright red exclamation point over here. And the reason this guy is in trouble is because we set a threshold again for 4,000 source lines of code change. Anything above that, we want to be a red flag. And indeed, this one's had 5,342 source lines of code change, so that created that red flag. However, the truly important information out of all this is we've got KPIs here from several different applications. So the 16% coverage, that's right out of the Cadence tool. And that tells us what kind of coverage we got on our last uh, verification run. This 5,342 lines of code change, that comes out of our change management tool, Rational Clear Case. The next three metrics, defects closed, defects assigned, and defects submitted, that comes out of our Rational Clear Quest defect management tool or bug tracking tool. And the last two indicators over here, the test cases passed and test cases failed, again comes out of Cadence. So the, what's important to remember here is we can bring information from just about anywhere into this dashboard, display it appropriately for the appropriate audience, for whatever audience is looking at it at that time, so that they can make more informed decisions about what they need to do within their projects. We can also... So again, this is, to summarize, this is, this is uh, the rational tools in this column, and then as you scroll to the left, you're seeing more of the IBM tools, and then there's an intermix also with the Cadence tools reporting data to this one dashboard. Correct. Got it. All right, and so percentage coverage is coming from Cadence's Enterprise Manager, and some of the other metrics are coming from the IBM tools. Correct. Okay. And we can even look at it from an IT operations view and get a little bit more granular into what's going on. So this might be the uh, a view that the uh, operations manager might want to look at. So he's not looking at individual processes that are running on his servers. He just wants to know that his servers really are being utilized and maybe being utilized to their best capabilities. And you've got some information here from our other Tivoli products, like the number of jobs that are running, the number of jobs that are waiting, the number of jobs that are still in the queue. And you've got some information about the CPU utilization of those jobs. And as you can see, our CPU utilization is starting to drop, which means our workload is, is, is finally starting to trail off. So we'll go into Incisive Enterprise Manager now, and we'll look at this workload a little bit closer. We have the refresh button here, and we're probably going to see that all of our jobs have indeed run. We don't have a very good pass-fail rate. We can look at our uh, verification plan and get a little bit more details about what passed, what failed, why. 
And so we can see here our UART testing worked very, very well. Our functional verification testing didn't work very well at all. We've actually physically broken this on purpose for this demonstration. We can also go into our runs view. And we can see another couple of integration points. So within here, we can look at a couple of custom views that we've created. One is this cumulative view. And what this is going to show us is some of the information that we showed through Tivoli Business Services Manager just a few minutes ago. This is where it's getting that information about the percent of coverage from the last run, the test cases passed, test cases failed, those kinds of metrics. And we also have this defects view. In this defects view, what we've done is for every bug that we found during our verification testing, we create this little defect button over here. Click that defect button and that's going to open a rational clear quest defect record so we can record a little bit more information about that particular bug, maybe associate it with some other bugs, send all that information off to our developers so that uh, hopefully they can make appropriate changes and we get better coverage on the next iteration. Great. So thanks for that quick demo. I know there's a lot more to show, but we didn't want to make a tremendously long video. You can certainly follow up with us offline. Um, just one more question, though, is, I mean, this is a great demo, but is this the real thing? You know, is this just demoware, or has this been implemented in use? Yes, indeed, this is the real thing. It is a, it's a live demo. It's uh, running on my servers in Dallas. However, it's all based on stuff that IBM's been using for the last 10 to 15 years to help us manage our verification in a more timely manner and get more products out the door faster. Oh, that's terrific. Hey, thanks for the demo. Thank Good you. Good show.